Thursday and I'm off today. It's about 11 o'clock a.m. and I'm just enjoying some coffee by myself. So nice. Um, Maddie and I just went for a beautiful walk on the boardwalk and now I'm just sitting and enjoying this hot lovely day. I always wear this hat. I know it's because I haven't washed my hair in a couple days and these glasses are just perfect for covering up your bags but it's actually really warm out. It was a bit chilly when I got here at like 10 30 but now the sun is shining and it's so nice so I thought might as well vlog. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do for the day. I'm off. Um, I don't really have anything planned. Uh, Jamie's coming home today from Killarney so I'm excited about that and I'm probably just gonna hang out with him. Maybe do some laundry. I haven't done laundry in a long time, so that's a must. A must. Um, yeah. Summer is like coming to an end and fall is coming. I am excited though. But, uh, I just love the sun. Hi vlog. It's been a while since I updated you guys. I'm still wearing the same outfit as this morning and it's like four o'clock now. Um, but I had a really nice afternoon. I chilled out and watched some YouTube and then Jamie came home and we went and got some takeout at Tuco's and I've been craving their nachos. They are so good. Um, basically Tuco's is a vegan um, like Mexican place in town and it's just the best. And I love it. It's very good. You should definitely try it if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, so we did that and then we had like a little half an hour nap and it's so nice outside. Like, it's kind of cold, like a little bit like on the crisp side, but the sun is out and I went for a walk this morning with Maddie already. Um, and I thought maybe I would go for another one since I'm literally still in my gym clothes from this morning. Um, and, but I also like probably should go to the gym and like do heavy weights and like, you know, cardio and stuff like that. But I'm just feeling very light today and just wanting to like do what's good for me. I threw in a load of laundry um, for my sheets. So I have clean sheets today. And look at how bad my eczema is. It is horrible. Like my skin is just really, really dry and it like cracks um i'm not sure if it's like dairy induced or like or gluten or something but i just i know i should probably like cut it out and see if it gets better so we'll see um and i got a new face mask that i really wanted to do like a first in, whoa like a little first impressions on and it's this one right here it's the vitamin c beauty sea salt coconut gentle and brightening face scrub so it balances softens scrubs away dirt hydrates thirsty skin and visibly reduces blemishes my skin has sort of been suffering lately like I have a lot of breakouts here and here um, mostly I think because of like I don't know hormones and stuff and then also oh my god my hair <laughs> um, I've been using my Clarisonic so it's been like really drying out everything that's in it um but yeah i thought maybe i would like put it on let you guys know what i think about it so this is the scrub or the yeah it's a face scrub gentle and brightening so i don't know if i'm gonna like put it on and then leave it on or just like scrub i think i'm gonna like put it on and then leave it on it says just to massage gently onto damp skin then rinse with warm water <laughs> So sorry if you can hear them, but I'm gonna wash my face and then I'm going to try out this little scrub and uh, yeah, my hair is like absolutely crazy right now. I also haven't washed my hair in like three days, so I think today is gonna be like a pampering night where I have a bath, maybe like, I don't know, exfoliate, do all that stuff. All right, I'm just gonna get my face wash. I use the Origins, whoa, Origins Zero Oil um, Deep Pore Cleanser with Saw Palmento and Mint. So I usually use this in the shower with my Clarisonic, um, but for this purpose I'm just going to use it right now. So just washing my face. 
this is kind of like a nice cleanser it does the trick um but i really really want to go back to the origins uh frothy one the checks and balances one i don't know oh my god this looks so crazy i'm sorry this looks so funny <laughs> okay so fish is washed oh this is better <sighs> face is washed now i'm going to put this on let's see it smells really good this is what it looks like with the sea salt Oh my god, it smells like amazing. I don't know how much I'm supposed to be using, but... Oh! It literally smells like tanning oil. It's so nice. And I can feel a little bit of the exfoliating properties. The salt is like really, really fine and gritty. Oh my god, this feels so nice. Guys. I feel like I'm gonna love this. Oh, I can really feel it tingling. I don't wanna like scrub too much because I kind of feel like it might irritate my skin. But it's a nice gentle scrub. I wish that you guys could smell this right now. It smells so good. But I'm gonna focus it here. I'm maybe do a little bit here too. I think I'm just gonna let it sit for just like a little bit. Just to, I don't know, soak up the coconut oil. Add this to my mask. I thought maybe I would show you guys like a little skincare haul of all of my masks. Um, so this one's one of my favorites. It's the Mask of Magna Minty from Lush. I talked about it in my most recent um, Empties products video. And this is like the best. It's the, such a nice color. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but it's green and it has peppermint. Then I have this black deep cleansing black mask. It's a purify, pu purifying peel off mask. This hurts so much. Like literally, it's very painful and I've only used it like twice. Maybe I should give it another shot today, but we'll see. I have the Drops of Youth um, Youth Liquid Peel. Um, I don't really know how I feel about this. I've used it like a handful of times and it was okay. I just don't like how like the clumpies stick to your face after. I hate that. And then I have the First Day Beauty Skin Rescue Purifying Mask with Red Clay. Minimizes the appearance of pores, removes excess sebum. sebum. It's mattifying as well. Um, so I like this one. It takes a long time to dry, but it's also a peel off. I have a couple of these face masks here that I got for my birthday. Um, one of them is an oatmeal anti-stress heat therapy. Ooh, that should be cool. And one is an ultra hydrating uh, shea butter with olive oil. This one sounds really nice. A heating mask? Huh. Should be kind of cool. Maybe I'll try it later. What else do I have in here? Oh yeah, this is like an old one. I had this for like so long. I should probably throw it out. But it's the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. This actually is really good. I think I need to repurchase this because it was amazing. What else? Oh, I have this Splendid Dirt Pumpkin Mask that I got as a Christmas gift from my aunt. And it's from like a local spa in town. It smells like pumpkin and oatmeal. It's so, so good. But it really stings, so I forgot about that one. I think that's, like, pretty much it for all my face masks. But I think I'm going to wash this off now because it's sort of, like, stinging a little bit. I'm not sure if I just, like, used too much, but we're going to wash it off. Oh, my God. My skin is, like, super red. But it feels really soft. Oh, there goes my headband. <laughs> I think I do really like this. Like, I've only used it the one time, but it just felt super exfoliating, and um, my skin does look like a little bit on the red side, but it also just like looks really clean. I don't know, I think it looks good. I should give you a little close up. Hmm. I wonder which one I should use. I think I'm gonna do this one 
the oatmeal heat therapy. Super pumped. So I'm gonna put this on and I'll, I'll let you know what it looks like. Okay, this looks very odd. I just lathered up. <laughs> a little bit goes a long way and it sort of has a heating feel to it, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Just looks like I put a shit ton of olive oil or like, <laughs> I don't know, coconut oil or something on my face. So maybe I just put too much. It's sort of like, I don't know if this is the peel off or, oh no. It's not, you have to wash it off after. I just put it in a little Ziploc bag. I'm just gonna pop it back in the drawer or the cabinet, I should say. And I don't really know what I'm gonna do now. Maybe I'll, oh my God, this looks absolutely ridiculous <laughs> but oh well it's kind of funny I don't know I might just like hang out in the living room this is my living room it's super messy because Jamie just got home but I maybe I'll give you guys like a little tour so this is the living room it's right off of the kitchen and it's a very old-school house so there's like this where the phone is supposed to go and then yeah I keep like my yoga mat and some of my uh, workout stuff. Jamie's bags, cute little couch, and the matching seat. I honestly got those two for so cheap on Kijiji. Then this is my little DIY table that my friend Julie made that I bought off her. My wine glass from last night. It says, my heart says chocolate and wine, but my jeans say for the love of God, women eat a salad. This is from my sister. So thanks, Alicia. <laughs> that was a great gift. Um, I had just have this like cute little pillow, which I usually keep on this little ottoman, which is full of stuff right now. Like it's literally so messy. I probably shouldn't even be showing you this. Um, and then this is our junk section. This is all of my like old school textbooks, Christmas decorations, like a bunch of old stuff that I literally just need to throw out. Um, and yeah, then there's the overview. I love my little fairy lights. It's like, okay, like I don't really love the setup, but I'm just kind of doing with what I have. And this is probably my favorite part of the living room. I just love like the black. I do want to get like another one of these for like maybe right here so it's even, but for now, like it's fine. And uh, yeah, all my candles, I'm obsessed and I have a problem right now. Then this is where I keep all of my um, like keepsakes and pictures and everything, little fake plant from Marsh from no it's from home sense my record player with my records I have Ed Sheeran Sam Smith Banks Justin Bieber <laughs> Lana Del Rey and Bon Iver oh my god or Bon Hiver however you want to pronounce it and then I have another one with all my things in here too it's super crazy my TV her Android box um, Xbox speakers a bunch of books and then some storage. And these are all my candles, which I will do a candle haul eventually. And then the entrance, some cute little sayings. I have a lot of little sayings around my apartment, so I have find happiness in the little things and do all things with love. And then this one, when I think of you, my heart skips a beat. Yeah, and then this is where we just dump all of our shit when we come home <laughs> and a bunch of stuff. We also have like in our backyard, um, we have some uh, lawn furniture, so these are the cushions for that, which we really never use, but uh, yeah. Okay, also, I was gonna end the vlog, but I just remembered that the kombucha that my friend Lisa and I made is ready, so I wanna show you guys. We didn't put any fruit in it or anything because we, um, we forgot, but this is what it looks like. Let me show you. This is what the booch looks like. So it's a green tea booch, and it's actually really good. I don't know if she added like any sweetener or anything, but this is what you have to make kombucha with, and it's called SCOBY. When I saw this, I was like, what the actual hell? It looks like something that you would see in a morgue, <laughs> like, or like at the hospital or something, but it's a bacteria and yeast combo um, that essentially like ferments your kombucha. I thought I would do a little taste test for you. It smells very acidic. 
but also like sweet. So here we go. Mmm, it's actually so good. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Lisa, if you're watching, we need to make more of these. I wanted to make like a fruit infused one with like strawberries and mint or something. I think that'd be so good. Anyway, I love it. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge now. All right, so I'm officially going to end the vlog now because I think I'm just gonna edit and upload it today because I don't have anything else to do and then maybe just go for like a nice walk or something. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.